Hey guys, welcome back. This is Death Void. I hope you're having a good day because today is a day when I'm going to show you my King of Atlantis Aquaman's build. And uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions that uh, show us your build and uh, how exactly it's possible for you to do a one shot on T6 raids. So I'm going to show you how you can do a one shot on a sub boss we're not going to talk about captain cold because that requires a non-critical build which we don't have yet and i bet a lot of people don't have that so we're not going to talk about that right now we're going to talk about the critical build and uh, you know we, we will see that how exactly it's possible to do a one shot on dr fate and on gorilla Grodd. all right and uh, yeah so before we start i just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and you're watching this video for the first time subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification uh, we also have a giveaway going on the details are mentioned in the description so please take a look at it and if you're interested in joining our discord you know the link is also mentioned in the description you can go there and take a look at it all right so this is the king my king of Atlantis Aquaman, he is on six stars. And now we are going to take a deep dive into his stats, into his build. All right. So his uh, attack. Now, you know, the question is that the threat, does it really matter? I, I really don't think that it matters. You know, the only thing you need the threat for is to fight higher opponents in the arenas. That is exactly what the threat is for. And uh, apart from that, you know it really doesn't count much so the only thing that matters over here to do a one shot is your attack you need to have a bare minimum of 4000 attack all right your attack should be at minimum of 4000 all right with that attack and with proper you know combos you can easily do a one shot on dr fate or with gorilla grod all right and health obviously health eventually will increase but uh, you know it's not important as attack all right so after that coming down critical attack damage it's maxed out 300 percent critical attack chance it's maxed out 75 percent uh fast attack chance and lethal attack chances kind of on the lower side uh, i mean fast attack hits fast attack chances up 39 percent and the rest defense blocking stun attack resistance dot resistance and critical attack resistance it's like it really doesn't matter and you know, if you have them you just remove it and replace it with attack or with critical attack damage all right so i believe you guys understood what i was trying to say which is that you need to have at least 4000 attack to do a one shot all right so keep that in mind all right now we will move on to the talents all right so you just need to have two types of talents which is critical attack damage and critical attack chance you, know, you need to have if your king is on six stars or let's say if he's on four stars then then you need to have two critical attack chance and two critical attack damage if he's on six stars then you need to have three critical attack chance and three critical attack damage why because this is a critical build that we are talking about that's why all right now it's going to take time you have to spend a lot of uh, coins on it and you can do the free rerolls but uh, you need to get this right okay doesn't matter if it's a common attack or it's a rare or it's an epic like i have a mixture of all these uh, but it really doesn't matter you know you just need to have these three in all right and apart from that armor piercing stun resistance and experience uh, that those are like of no use you know in here you don't really need that because it's a critical build as i said all right so moving on to the gears now you know, you know as as we are talking about one shot you know the most important thing as i said is attack right so you need to have at least eight i'm not sorry not at least it you should have eight attack effects all right at the moment i'm having only five but uh, i'm going to re-roll them and uh, eventually reach to eight but you need to have eight attack effects now let me show you what i'm talking about so uh, this is what i'm talking about now it's there is one common effect and two are rare right so you need to have like this eight attacks all right so that means three three and then two all right in 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 some other gear okay it doesn't matter which gear you have it you just need to have it all right and after that you need to have four fast attack chance let me show you that as well all right where is it i think it's here all right 
So four fast attack chance. All right, that will give you a little bit extra chance to do fast attack hits. All right, so after that, you need to have two critical attack damage and one critical attack chance. All right, I think it was here. All right, so as you guys can see in the bit, in the middle, of the effects there is 29.5 percent critical attack damage that is one i'm sorry you need to have that too all right and after that critical attack chance as you guys can see should be one now i have to re-roll these talents and i need to get in the attack over here which i'm going to do eventually because i'm kind of i'm just having like five uh, i'm sorry six attack effects so i'm going to change these two you know, soon enough so that i can do more damage in solar raids and obviously in the t6 raids all right so uh, these are the things that you need to remember when you re-roll your gears and it's really important for you to you know put in the attack first you know you know your threat might get a bit on lower side or it might get increased but you need to make sure that when your gears are when you get all the gears you need to make sure that you unlock them at level 40 first take them to level 40 and then make sure that you have at least eight attacks four fast attack chance two critical attack damage and one critical attack chance now i'll put all these things in the description below all right so that it's easier for you to understand and uh, you know if you want to know more about this you can join the discord server we have a you know we have a bot that allows you to see the exact build you know of king of atlantis aquaman and all the other characters in the game all right so i believe you guys understood what i was trying to say and uh, if you guys take a look at the build again it's a d it, it's a good build and i'm not going to say that it's great build but it's good you know it's it's something that you can use it use it to do a one shot in t6 rage all right so now the next thing that i'm going to show you is a clip of a video which i you know made and uh, i did a one shot on gorilla grod all right so you can take a look at that and you can determine that how exactly it's possible for me to do a one shot with this build all right so let's move on to that all right so here we are and uh, you will be seeing that how exactly i did a one shot on uh, gorilla grod and uh, this guy is like a, a freaking beast you know king when it comes to one-shotting sub-bosses in the T6 raids, all right? So, uh, where is it? So, I usually put uh, uh, the father box on uh, Dr. Fate so that he is able to do, you know, the infinite combo with King of Atlantis Aquaman. I mean, you can use Shazam as well, but uh, I think I actually used Shazam for a long time, but then I realized that it's, it's just not doing that much damage, so I then started using Dr. Fate, all right? So... You just need to be done with these uh, two monkeys over here. And now the main boss is in. All right. Okay. So guys, you can see the basic hits are doing like around 4,000 damage. You know, that is exactly what our attack was. All right. So now when the... Uh, King will do his special attacks. The, this will give him a buff up to 600%. And uh, so that means six special twos or six special threes will give him a buff. And he will be strong enough to do a one shot. All right. So he's going to take like 10% of the health first three times, you know, in the game. And then after that, he will start doing like an immense amount of damage. All right. So the super move is out of the way. all right you know if you if you like if your doctor fate is dead you can also continue the combo with shazam now shazam is dead so i'm going to continue it with doctor fate all right now take a look at the attack it eventually increases you know it, it's gone up to 18k right All right, low. So it's re-engaging in the combo and attacking with special three again. All right. 
So that was over there. It, it, it was a like huge damage, you know, almost 500k damage. So that is possible, you know, if you build your king right. And there are a lot of people who can even do like a lot more damage, you know, than this king is doing right now. But this is like the basic thing you need in order to do a one shot. So if you're looking forward to increase your damage numbers in the rage, then you know you need to you need to build this king of Atlantis Aquaman exactly the way I just I said. Oh. All right, <clears throat> still thirty seconds left. I'm sorry. All right. Here we go. And it's done. All right, so guys, I hope uh, you understood what I was trying to say you. And uh, you know, in order to do a one shot, if you follow these steps, which I just said, then you can easily do a one shot on these two guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just give it a like and uh, if you have watched this video till the end, then obviously you should give it a like, right? So uh, thank you very much for watching. You have a good day. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Thank you.